Good morning guys and welcome back to the GKP. We've come back down to uh, Dazza's Koi Farm and if you can hear that distinct sound of running water I will show you exactly why as Daz is draining down some of the systems so that we can fit a new trickle in trickle out system. So we're going to have a quick look at it, see how it goes and we'll show you just what's going on if you go you are, come on I'm trying to disappear off out of the shot and there is bubble of fins back of a red <laughs> you just got to there you go so yeah i'm uh, literally stood in water right here right now i'll show you what's going on we'll make a crack on and have a good start so there you go guys this is how daz does it basically floods the garden and uh, that's the uh, pool's been drained down so we'll have a quick look at what's going on and what daz has done with what we're going to be doing is connecting, let's move this to one side. What we're going to be doing is connecting a trickle in, trickle out system. So the flow is going to be going in and the overflow is going to be coming out of each one of these pools. Daz is just doing, this is a perfect time for Daz while we're all here to give him an hand. And what so you can see, just for all those that's trying to get all the sum still, Daz is still in mass production of the blanket wing. Yes. Um, it's a super race. <laughs> <laughs> We're just netting all the fish out. We're going to give all this a good clean up, get everything out, get all the blanket weed out, draining down this one, going through a few of these fish. And there may be very well a chance and an opportunity if anybody is interested in any of these fish. Uh, it is up in the comments below. Daz has just been saying there are some numbers that he wants to get rid of and some fish that he wants to get rid of and some deals and offers yeah, that he's well, prepared to do. Make room for this season's worth of... Uh, spawning. Yeah. Pipe work has said, um, I don't know, I'm guessing, I'm guessing and I'm saying this because I don't know 100%, <laughs> I believe that there's going to be a trickling from all yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six pools. Yeah, yeah. Am this I is, right this is that? a trickling That's pipe. That's a trickling pipe. Standard pipe. With a little um, Oh, we're we going with it. Ah, yeah, right. We're going to use the same, same system because that's an yeah. irrigation system, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So this is actual. We use this stuff for the the air system loop, which you can see just round to the air stones in. But it's actually an irrigate. Is that right? Yeah. Irrigation yeah. irrigation system, which is used for watering your plants, veg patches, and everything else. So it's designed for carrying water. So we're actually going to use it this time for its intended purpose. Yeah. This is fine. <laughs> yeah. Little drippers. And we can adjust the flow on those to faster or slower. There's three way, all these other sorts in here. And then the um, overflow, which is two, depending on what height you want to connect to, is going to be ah, in right. 32 so you've got two mil. different depths. Yeah, you've got yeah. two different depths. So, so we're going in up. with a 32 mil waste system to run out, tee in, join up, and then going to kick it out. Yeah, just into the, the somewhere yeah. into this back corner. I'll just feed this out through there. And they're all going to be linked to the same from one to the next. Yeah. Not yeah, the trickling good. systems individual, but one way system coming out in one. Yeah, all in one. Tees. I can't get all black, unfortunately. <laughs> well, <laughs> Clean them out. They're going to be behind, anyway. Yeah, going to be seen, is it? Does, see it? it? does it really matter? No. So yeah, that, all those will be linked together, and then wastewater exits them out and away. This Great. is made. This is purely for the fry. The fry has been different. We're trying to do a trickling and trickle out for raising the fry. Yeah. Keep the conditions. Yeah, keep keep the ammonia at absolute low. There we go. Stages. So that's the process, guys. We're going to get on with the the deep clean and everything, giving all these a clean out. We realised that the exit pipe is on the wrong side, so we've got to drain these down, spin, spin it around. around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, mispositioned them. Yeah. Well, I say well, we. It's never intended to have a trickle in, trickle out system. So. Does do. <laughs> You're going right on the rest of them then? Yeah. No, that one needs spinning too. That yeah, one's on the out. Look at that empty. Yeah, they're going to be a lot easier. So, as we get set up and get going guys, we shall get back to you in a little bit. A couple of the old kahaku in there. Let me know guys, like we said, Daz is more than happy to bag up some fish, ball up some fish and we can make a little video of fish that are available as well. Let us know down in the comments below. There we go guys, there's a few of the kahaku that we've gone through. Look at this little pattern on that. That's nice. 
Danichi uh, offspring. Very nice show up. There's some of the ones that we're keeping, we're a little bit unsure about what they might do, how they might go. So keeping these ones to grow, as in for dads to keep on growing on. But yeah, some nice kaku in there if everybody's interested. Screen grab it, email us through, and we'll see what they look like and how they progress. A couple there that does is obviously going to be keeping himself, but some nice little selection of kaku in there. Now for all those wondering how the professionals get their tanks and ponds completely clean, here's a little bit of secret inside information for you. <laughs> the pond vacuum's mm. broke. <laughs> <laughs> this is a special koi shovel. This is a koi shovel. And this is how we do it. Dad has gone far and went vax bus. <laughs> but this one is now almost partially empty. You've got to get out of the way now because this is a bit where Dad wangs it is. This one is being filled back up and now is facing in the right direction. The reason for doing this, as I said earlier, is that you see just there, there's where the overflows and we've cut them the wrong way around. We have got that one to spin as well, which, as you can tell, is not going to be very easy because it's difficult to keep, well, it's difficult to move it because there's very little space to move in. But those ones the right way. I don't know if we're putting one on this one, but if we aren't, be cool. But we've gone through, Daz has gone through all of his fish to make sure that, and, he, uh, and that's how you get rid of it, folks. Once you hit your garden, stay out of the dark. Daz is going to walk through all this squidgy stuff. Daz has gone through all the little stuff, and those are what he's keeping. The kahakus have been put in there with them. If you put them in there, he's going to have a quick flip through and have a bit of a um, some for his tank. Nice little tank shot down there, that's nice. He's just going to give him a little bit of a chance by putting him in tank that he's got at home and bringing those ones that he's grown on now to about this size and switch them over. So that's what he said he was going to be doing. Some of the stuff, the bigger stuff, that was in that tank that is emptying out now. Daz has moved them into here. <laughs> he didn't even check then to see if I were going back round that corner as he launched that bucket out. But he's probably a few of the ones that he likes and is interested just to see how they do. And some ones that he might be using for some future projects. Sorry. Uh, for his future projects that he might be... Let's spin that round. That he might be actually uh, using for breeding stuff well wait a day. Some of us is is mirror carp cross fun that we're trying just for something different. He's still got um, his one male and two females in there as well which have been kept separate from all the other fish and the odd one or two little ones that are still in there that we never managed to net out but and then again we've got, as usual guys, all the smaller stuff that is still to go through. I'm going to do the same thing, select through those and make sure all those are what they are, just to make a bit more space. Spin the numbers down, keep feeding them the same, get rid of some of them that aren't doing as, as well as you what I expected. And then... Uh, making more room and more space for this season's uh maybe what a golf ball there's one being dropped inside here four. and another one local groundskeeper will be looking for the golf ball you can't find all oh, these fancy goldfish a couple of axolotls down there one just underneath that plant and just a bit of his weed and plants that he put some of his older breeding stock in there for them ones. 
so yeah that's what we're up to and hopefully now we'll be uh, somewhere close to getting this tank picked up spun round bit of dinner and then we're going to get the the drainage and the water connected up but, yeah. Dad has just selected through with the ones that he likes, the ones that he wants to see how they do. So there's a few in there, they're going to get shifted into here when we put a bit more water in. And then they're going to be moved back into these tanks in here when we've got the system or the tanks refilled back up. Stop! Stop! Oh, Why don't you stop? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made good. <laughs> that was close. I nearly got a bucket full of uh, pond water. I'm going to shift. This is what I would have got. He still splashed me up, even when I stood right out of the way. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> we was just talking about this tank as well, because this tank has got, as you can see, on it, sorry, I'll go that way then, just to, around this, where the cluster is, of the vast majority. We've got a lot of little ones in here. There's a vast majority in there that's... Yeah. The vast majority in there that's just all orange. Which is not very well sought after. So there might be a big, uh, a big grading through on these as well. Reduce the numbers. Spin them out. See what we're left with. There you go, guys. All right, we're just gonna pop for a bit of lunch. We'll catch back up with you in a bit. Lunch time, Daz. <laughs> Oh, that's lunch done with, and absolutely lovely it was as well. Thank you very much, Mrs. Whitehead. We just had um, cottage pie with broccoli and gravy, and then pudding was blackberry, blackberry. Yeah, <laughs> there was a couple of little bits in it that were a bit tarty. It made your ears laugh a little bit, but it was well nice, very nice indeed. So we're going to get cracked on with what's going on in here. So we'll catch back up with you in a little bit. <laughs> There's going to be a slight warning here beforehand. There may be quite a bit of swearing within these next several minutes. Possibly an electrical flashing. Because <laughs> <laughs> you get stuff like Daz saying, do us a favour, girl. Is it plugged in? So you climb into said pond all the way over there just to find that it's still plugged in. I'm switched on. So what we're doing, we're warming guys. The reason, the reason why we're doing what we're doing is, guys, is uh, we have. Not this that, that thing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have these. Um, we have these, and as you saw earlier on, Dad said, we got some white ones, we got some black ones. What he also forgot to mention was that he's got solvent weld and push fit. Let me demonstrate. Hopefully, this will become more apparent. Push fit. Goes on. Nice and easy. <laughs> and quite well. <laughs> Sorry, solvent well goes on nice and easy. The push fit, not so. So, we're warming said pipe with electrical device near a pool of water. To allow it to push on. So hopefully by this time. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> well, by this time tomorrow. Hopefully by this time tomorrow we might. We might. Oh, sorry. That would be loud. We might have this done and finished. But hopefully you can see what's going on. If not, I shall reposition you a little, and you can enjoy the madness. <laughs> it's bad to work. Of course it's going to work. It's just difficult to push. Once you've got it going, it's the point between it being too flexy or bendy, let it cool for a bit, 
and then push it and it'll go without thinking the fact that it does get quite long. So, let's get ourselves in. And as you've not got much room here, have we? <laughs> That's an understatement. You know what? I think I won't do that. We can't get in there. There's not going to be much room to go. Oh, that's it, done. Is it in here? It's in. <laughs> is it going a good way though? It is. Yeah. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pass me a bend, please, my man? Uh, what type? Oh. Would you like to go with a real easy fitting? Uh, left hand bend. Left hand bend. Thanks. You go for a right, nice easy fitting push it one, Dad. Oh, look at that! Like a dream! Just in case you missed any of that, Dad was just over there in that corner and he's just put on a push for elbow, which was real nice and easy, which is how it all should have been, folks. Don't blame me, blame tool station. They didn't have enough parts. Other stores are available. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Another bit of pipe, please. Another piece of the back, right? Yeah. Right, so that's. Is that going out the door now? I mean, out there. Is that what you're going? Everything no, out of this door? Oh, so we're pushing water up. Yeah, because the mouse has been all the pipe. Oh, perfect. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we script. Can we, you're going to be tight down there though, can we move this over? No. <laughs> you can try. This one's going to there as well, isn't it? Yeah. This was well that thought through. That one. <laughs> <laughs> you can that one as well. That needs spinning around, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, not, that's the one I would say is going to be a little bit more that's of a difficult time. Test <laughs> Yeah. Oh dear. Shall I give you the saw like yes. today, oh, no. Not like A precision. Dad's <laughs> <laughs> nearly went for a... So, cutting instrument. Skizzers? Yeah. I think that one's even lower than the big one. Take that, tap, tap, yeah, this. I'm going to make sure I'm going to cut through the right hand for Yeah, that's right. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> that never sounds good. Uh oh. There's your bone. Keep it small. Keep it small, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it small and let the gun push through. Because at this point, Dan's thought, maybe you should have tried it. At this point, Dan's thought, maybe you should have the bung out first. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Daz did say that at the end of the day, if there's slightly links on there, at least the water will still be coming out. Yeah. We'll have achieved our objective. Yeah, slight damp climbing to the policy now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, look at that. Seamless. Yeah. So now, what do we need? Elbows. Number T. I think we need some zip ties. So, so, to get the, yeah, to hold them up, the yeah. Right, there is one sec guys, we'll grab some cable ties because we've got the pipe work now, in fact, I'll be, we'll actually be able to show you. Go on, Dad. If I pass you that, you can be able to show them what it is you've been doing. So, yep. so we'll put a corner on here, pipe's running the full length there. 
damn technology. Um, it goes to a T, comes up to a bend, and then connects to the pool for the overflow. Then the other half of the T goes on, you can see it all the way up there, to the next pool. So they're all linked together via the overflow. But we've got to put some zip ties to these uh, white poles to keep all the pipe work up at the so right level. Sagging. Yeah, take the sag out. Downfall, it. but you don't want it to flow. Up. So they should go, as you can see there, it comes all the way along, along there, and along there. So we'll get some cable ties. Be right back. We've got a pop tip van to get some. So if you just give it a warm, like Daz has done there, if you just give it a bit of a warm, you can make it push inside it. But you've just got to be, don't go too much. If the pipe starts to flex a little bit, then you need to give it, yeah, you feel it clunk and then it will go past it that little bit more. Yeah. Once the pipe's warm enough, but if you warm the pipe too much, the pipe will start to just start to, to bend and flex a little bit. Yeah, it does. I'm, I'm not going in there, guys, because I'll show you why. Look at this. That's some mucky old pond water, and man, it stinks. Daz, Daz loves it. Mature, mature pond water. Mature pond water, that's it. But that would definitely get any pond cycled. It would. With all sorts of, probably a lot of things you don't want to cycle it with. This need this is full length for run to make all this pool does need turning down the right there. How are we gonna turn that one? This has got zero water in there. Yeah. We want the heat gun. So that oh god. So that piece that piece needs warming and pushing into the end of that pipe, doesn't it? <laughs> so we gotta we gotta get that piece into that, that piece. Oh, is that the piece? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to warm your hands up. That is going to warm hands up. Well, that, that little piece, which I thought was going to be that piece, which Daz just sent me looking for, by the way, folks. He sent me looking for it, it and it was in his pocket the there. It was in his hoodie pocket. <laughs> sent me into the shed on the side. This is going to be... Yeah, put your hoodie down, Fun. guys. You can melt your fingers. Going, <laughs> it's like to flare out. Yeah. Right. Go for it, Dad. How do you feel it clunk in? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that's a bit. You push it all the way over. <laughs> That'll be in fire enough, as long as it's in and past the seal, you're good. Now that bit just pushes onto the normal elbow, doesn't it? Yeah. So you need to warm it one end, end, end of this pipe, then just push it over. Oh, that's the one I do. Oh! <laughs> so now the bit, the other bit's going to be... Ooh, that was a sharp bit there. Um, the other bit now is going to be joining this piece 
to get to that piece, isn't it? Yeah. So now we need to flare this. Yes. We need to flare this so that we can make this pipe fit inside this pipe. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Have you got, um, have you got, ooh, have you got any water, is it, Kai? Not on me. <laughs> what, what You could get it to go, but it will go around, you know, it'll go black around the end of your gun. Yeah. But that will flare it. Ah, so you need like a piece of wood inside, like yeah. a thick room around it. You can uh, bounce off something. Some of the similar size diameter. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to smell lovely when we turn that on. <laughs> Some of the last piece I will say this much guys, I thought we'd do you a favour, no carry on Daz, you're alright, I thought we'd do you a favour and cut out the swearing bits, <laughs> we just, oh, I can't even see me on. we just spun this pole, and we spun that pole, that one was easy, that yeah. one was a little difficult, that one was quite very difficult, but it's done, Daz has connected up the one that you can see just there, that one's done, come through here now, to a joint and he's going to push this one in which will elbow into that one doesn't that need to be um doesn't that need to be a t it does doesn't it good point <laughs> white or black yeah um yeah that one will do thanks no one's going to sleep down there that's for sure Daz needs to get a t on that one Okay, you want it again. Hold that. So that one will then come out of there around the corner. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> um, for the last one. So they're all going to run out through that corner. Oh, yeah, I see it. Right. 
Somewhere. This is what happens when you try making use of bits and bats and pieces. It'll work, it'll work. At the end of the day, it doesn't need to be watertight. This is an overflow system, and there's tons of water gets spilled on this floor anyway. So, if there is a slight little drip or a weep, it ain't going to make that difference. So, Let's go see if we can find what we need. Be right back. <laughs> right, guys. We've been to Daz's box of, well, I'll just say miscellaneous because there's all sorts of stuff in it. Every type of fitting you can think of. We're warming up this elbow now to push this one onto a joint that we've just made out of a piece of pipe. Are you that one there that Daz has got? Vicky's pushing through a piece of flexi pipe there, you can just see moving in that corner. The piece of flexi pipe is then going to go into this, solvent weld into it, and then that's out. So if it ever gets a kick or anything outside, it's not going to damage the pipe because it's flexible and it can just be pushed kind of around that bend of the actual corner of the polytunnel just here. <laughs> so that's that's on. You just need to get your angle right before it's cooled down. <laughs> Thank you. 
So basically guys, if you look, I don't know how close you can see, this elbow has warmed up this part because it wouldn't fit on, but that allows the plastic to expand and come reform back again what you pushed on, and that's solid. That one, give it a bit of a tweak in. And then that one on there. Bring that in so you can see. If you can see there now, that pipe is nice and squidgy. That's a lot. <laughs> Give it a couple of minutes to cool down. Yeah. And then if you want to make sure that it's really, really tight, if you just give it another warming with the uh, pipe work or once you've formed it again you can solve and weld it you're good yeah the other one's going to be more difficult which will be the flaring of a pipe to let our pipe inside very similar to um cable as in internet cable each pipe pushes over the next pipe over the next pipe over the next pipe so one just slots into the other has a female end on one and a male end on the other side. Trim as a two. Says Daz having to get back in van and fly down to uh, tool station, screw fix, or anywhere else that he could find at <laughs> last minute. But just a bit of a heat gun, and you can change the shape of your pipe plugs yourself. Right, we'll crack on, and then we'll give you a full recap of it over again when we got these pieces all put together. So, down the back of here now, and as you can see, going down and through. Mm, Difficult to see. All the way down to the far corner. But there is a little. I can't see that. There we go. Just here. The elbow where it goes into this pool. And then we've got the elbow that Daz is putting on now onto that one, which will come down. To this one and there is this you can see there look see how it's bulged so the pipes in now we'll be carrying this line then from here through and to that one and then again through and up to the, the oh god I nearly stepped into that pool then does <laughs> <laughs> no that's ankle deep that yeah I nearly stepped in there and it's full of water can tell at first uh, and then it's going to come up to this one where we've got the bung just there hi right, guys just thought i'd show you this as well let me give uh jeff lees um a quick mention too jeff bought or jeff's making uh, a grown pond which is going to be an upcoming video in the very near future we're going to be going over to jeff's doing a bit of a dig out building his uh new grow on pond just for some oh so many stuff that he gets from Daz anything that Daz might want growing on just gives Jeff, Jeff something he's getting quite good at it. he's got a little uh, air source heat pump for it he's got a filter system for it but he picked up an absolute bargain of one of these which is the clover leaf now as many as you might be have thought in the past and you're probably right uh, this clover leaf system is too small for Daz's pond and this season we're going to be taking off all the toppings all the way around, taking out the liner, putting in, uh, going down another couple of foot, taking out the shelf because Daz has got a, around the parameter of this all the way around the pond, he has a little shelf that comes all the way around there and he puts all his 
uh, potted plants on. His lilies and such. But he's going to give this pond some more depth. The bigger fish, more depth needed. And then, obviously, it's a bigger pond with more depth. He's going to need a bigger filter system. Now, Jeff needs a small one. And Daz needs a bigger one. Jeff paid a good price for his. And he's happy with the price just to be a straight swap for swap. Because this is perfect for Jeff's little grow one. And Daz could do with a big one. So, so between them, they've decided to do a filter swap. Get that one fettled out. Up to Jeff's when we do the job. Switch over the filter systems. Bring that one back down onto Daz's. Put it in on here. So I just thought I'd let you know about that. That's going to be an upcoming video for the very near future. And uh, Mr. Jeff Lees will... Uh, get his filter system up and sorted as will Daz for the bigger pond build on his can't really not come and give him an hand as they all came and give me an hand and I owe Mr Lee's a favour because he's giving me a lovely great big kaku so we're going to crack back on over here brews are out, time for a pot of tea and then we'll get back to you in a tick I was just saying then at this point Daz I'd love to come give you an hand but sadly <laughs> that one requires wellies and Daz has only got small feet so I can't borrow any that's my, that's my excuse <laughs> it's the same size Daz <laughs> exactly <laughs> they're just lying oh look at that did you see that ladies and gents you probably did oh, right. well let you see small people problems Ooh. Safety first, that's it. This one is a good idea, does, wasn't it? <laughs> you get it warm enough so the pipe becomes squidgy. And a Daz has found that if he just gives it a little push on the pipe, it kinks in a little bit, but because it's still warm when you push it in, you can feel it just pops back out. And then you burn your fingers, <laughs> pushing it into the next one. <laughs> but at least you've got warm hands. Yeah. The thing is, yeah, that's the only thing when you're messing around with stuff like that next to a rubberized plastic liner. <laughs> yeah. any plastic grass, it? Yeah, it stinks, doesn't it? Little bit warm. Yeah. I mean, not warm enough. <laughs> Are you trying to flare it? Yeah, yeah it's not easy. What you could do is something slightly bigger to push it over first, then give it part of the shape. Right, let's see if we can find a bit of pipe work. One second, we'll be right back with you. Hi right, guys, as you can see there now, that pipe is flared over the top of that pipe. You warm this side and flare it over and then push that pipe into the top of it, give it a warm of a heat gun again and then it'll shrink tight back around the pipe. Now obviously, if you were doing this on 
filter pipes or anything as in a type of pipe work joint with pressure this won't be a good but because this is literally just gravity fed system where it's just going to trickle out it's, only, it's never going to be boring out there full pelt it's only going to be trickling out of it and the joints are any what we that aren't perfect what we're going to do well yeah but all it all it takes does is to take them apart once it's cool and just a little bit of solvent well around them yeah. and that would cure anything that was leaking and if whatever was leaking was going to be that minimal got to remember guys that this is inside a polytunnel on a red hot day in here on a normal day it is literally cascading water and dripping it down here so this flattened. yeah <laughs> it is so it ain't going to ruin the Axminster carpet we don't need to be worrying about it there are a couple of little drips that might be coming out even if there were not this is just a nice simple easy push fit system and a couple of bits of pipe work to save having to go out and buy any more stuff that we're bastardising in a sense to make do what we want it to do cheap, simple and as we've always said coin keeping doesn't need to be expensive at all it's you, you know make do with what you've got all this is in preparation for this year's fry and I'll tell you as to why what Daz has said he's going to do is this is going to be the spawning pool and this is something that me and Daz have spoke about and the rest of the guys in the DKP um, we spoke about flared gills normally caused by water quality as Rick has told us many times on the lives on the Thursday night and when we spoke to him personally water quality is one of the biggest problem when keeping fry. So, mine and Daz's idea was, Daz's idea for which pool we're going to use, but what we said would be a good idea to do, would be to use a pool for spawning in and have these pools, this one's not going to get filled back up because it's going to be cleaned out, bleached out, prepped and ready. This one is going to be for housing the fish that are outside to come back in. This one's going to be bleached out prepped and ready this one's going to be bleached out prepped and ready again this one already has been and just needs to be drained down and you know just giving a quick clean out then this one as i said we're going to go through some more of these fries and the what the remainder that does chooses to keep out of here will go in with those when the big project happens up on the pond up there, those fish are going to be coming down and into the far one with the two females and the male in there. So all the brood starts coming out, uh, sorry, it does as, you know, personal fish, the ones that he uses for breeding, are coming out of the main pond up there and down into here. The project will start up there, but in preparation be before all that, we're going to have the fish in here for a spawn. When they finish with the spawning, they're going to go into there, pool outside. And then each spawn is going to be taken from here and put it into there. Gaz's next spawn is going to be set in the spawn pool and then it's going to be taken out of there and put into there. And so on and so on. And as of yet, what we're thinking, of, Gaz is actually thinking of having a go at doing some hand spawning. And when he does the hand spawning, these pools will be prepared ready. Bring them out from the cold into the warm, the warm water change should activate and kick them into spawning. Bring a male in once they start going, sedate a fish, strip them, take the male, take the eggs, fertilize them into the one pool, into the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And then, as my last one, his last set, will be done and will be done and left into here. On top of some more projects that Daz has got, uh, sorry, the projects that we did last year, where the tanks are down, the four that's down there, those are going to be used again. So all this is in preparation to get all these ones down there filled with Daphne cultures going again, like you did last year. And then we've got all the food source for them to be doing what they're doing. Look at that, sun's just going down. That must mean we're, uh, we're getting Quarter to five now. 
stay in daylight longer, which is good, we're on the right way. And that is what all this is for. The trickle in, trickle out system then will mean that Daz can have a constant flow of fresh water coming in and then trickling out and, a, and away to waste. And all these ponds will reduce the amount of ammonia nitrite nitrates by having a constant cycle of fresh water running through them. That's the idea. Ain't that right, Dad? Yep. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Just to see if we get less fish with deformities by giving them a more cleaner environment, a sterile environment from a spawn station to the ponds to the pool and see how it goes that way. Some are a little bit different and some are, both me and Daz have wanted to have a go at and hopefully, fingers crossed, if we can get a chance down to see Rick and get some hands-on experience or, you know, shown exactly what it is while he's doing it with his. That's the, that's the plan, that's the plan. There's quite a few up and coming good stuff this season that we've got lined up so watch this space guys it's going to be a good one and if you don't enjoy it we sure as hell will <laughs> all right guys so you can see here now if i can get to get to see this just round there now you'll see that's the first bit that runs into that one and continues then all the way down there We did have to do some slight dismantling of a few bits and random bits and bats. All the uh, little fish from outside now have been brought in here. And we're going to get, I'm just going to pop round back of there and get the mercy logs in for them. But so you can see, it then comes. Whoop. Down here, all the way along and through. And it's cable tied to all these pipes down to the little bit here and then flows out in the corner there so that's where they'll all run out to all the way down along behind the back of here all the way down and through the back of there round that and linked into each one of these down here which is actually this pool's empty so we can step over there <laughs> and it wasn't empty it looked like it was god you'll break your neck through here and we can pop okay, what we'll do is we'll get the furbish one in first sorry about this camera work guys Get the first air stone. I'll we'll bob that back in. Oh, this is dodgy. And then that one in. I was worrying about getting my feet wet, but Dad just chucked a bucket of water on him. So those air stones are in. How come those ones aren't running? Have you switched them off? I switched, uh, yes, I switched the pump off. Oh, sweet, right, well. So switch that pump back on. Oh, did you plug the... Plug that back in there. That's the air pump going again. And these should start to. Uh... That's a <laughs> there we go. That's the air back on in them. That one might want tweaking on the tap a little bit. Just a little bit less, but it does tend to build up after it's uh, built up a bit more in time. 
No idea what these two are on about. Yeah, but now we're looking next at the next bit now, the next, next stage, stage is... We'll just establish what this is for. That's a tap connector. Oh, that's a special one. Yeah, it's a special one. one. It's um, special. done for 4 mil and 30 mil hose. 30 mil is your main hose, but it's got little nets. I don't know if you can see that inside yeah, the filter. Can, yeah. Yeah. And that's to stop. Show you. Our main pipe will be connected onto here. And these are your drippers. And they're very fine at the end. There's, there's little holes at the end. So um, to that's that's to stop the fogging up. up, that is, yeah. But these have got these little pegs, I don't know if you can see them, that you push in. So any any drippers you're not using, you, you should cap them off, off yeah. Oh, sweet. So it gives you the, the opportunity to add and extend if you need to. So you could tee off for that as many times yeah. as you want it. Well, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this this will be like your, your airline. Your main feeding. You, I mean, if you can go back to, to your main water pipe, then you just run, little run these off. from yeah. each one to your plants then. Yeah. Or in this case, yeah. your fish. You're going to be the fish. There we go. So there it is. That's the drainage system in and done. Check. Next thing is to uh, get this stuff. <laughs> this stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way around the original loop and just cable type it to the original. Because it's only air blowing through there. Up and down and over and all the way around. We'll get back to you when we've got all that exciting bit because uh, Daz is going to be squeezing down all these tight little gaps because he's the only one with wellies. Right guys, as, 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 uh, as I literally just stepped out for about, well, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes to make a quick phone call. As you can see there, pipe comes up. And it's going to be, that one's, the way I screwed out, that was jamming up a little bit, but cable tied onto here. And now it's running all the way down because Daz and Vicky are just steamed through this yeah. so damn quick. I don't even get to see it, but I get to see the end of it. And you get to see, well, I'm not saying the end. <laughs> what was that? Someone's got to get the work done. <laughs> oh, you had to get me again. So, screw you, Daz. <laughs> I mean, um, Daz has done a real good job around here. He's come all the way around. Look, he's, he's almost got to, all he's got to do now is come to this last pool. And then, I'm guessing technically the little drops to each pool for the trickle in. And that's it. Yeah. So, sorry I missed that guys. But you get the gist. Daz bought way too much pipe by the way. <laughs> Future project. Future project. Well, well, yeah. Actually, there is the coy tunnel, isn't there? All this that you're thinking of doing in there with the air system as well, aren't you? Yeah, it's already done. The air system's done. It's been done. Is the lights in there? No. <laughs> no. I, can, I can put my phone on with the top. Yeah, let's go have a quick. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know this was done, guys. Oh, that's sneaky little inside projects. There's no pump, though. There's no pump There's as no of pump. yet, right? But the air, the air system. It's literally on the brink of turning dark here. In fact, I'm lying. It's near almost. Near, it's almost pitch black. But as of yet, we still have not got lights in here. So we're going to do this by torchlight. So you can see. Don't know just how much you will be able to see. Sorry about this. We're waiting for the person with the torch. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's some, there we go. So you can see there, Daz has already run through the air system, which will be, I would imagine he's going to be putting a pump down on here somewhere. Two sockets up there ready for it. And it comes all the way along. And he's tapped into it then. He hasn't yet, has he? Uh, I never even saw that when I came in here earlier on. What we will be able to see, guys, is when you look back on the video, or if you look early on the video, you should be able to spot this. Yeah, see. <laughs> it goes all the way through. So Daz has run one all the way through onto here now. So he's got an air loop system. I don't know if that'll be run off of that pump, but yeah. is that the pump? Yeah. 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 Just there, these two are connected. Daz got. Oh, that's the one he was on about, wasn't it? Yeah. That the thingies are gone on inside it. Yeah. It's the cool. diaphragms. You need some new diaphragms that's for it. That's the one that was running in the poly. Yeah. And obviously, you know, they said once you switch them off, they die. Yeah. It's exactly what's happened. Switch yeah, the, off, it's died. It's died. And and it's tall. The diaphragms. He was talking to us over there. The diaphragms in this have gone, so he needs to put some new ones in it. Or replace it, whichever it is it may be. But his air loop system is actually you can see the drop there, look, from there, 
we got another one there. And I guess he's going to have a little one into each one of these. He has, because he's running outside the cable there. And then, does he need to put one... Did you see him in there? No. Hey, sir, took, took down back. No, no that's, that's, a a that's a cob, that's a <laughs> So he's still got to put two drops on this one. But, this isn't done. Sorted. Right then, let's get back to Daz. Yeah, Daz is just fitting a little blanking cap on. Look at this. It's like the Bahamas in here. This thing throws out some right heat. There's a little blanking cap. Whoop. On your seat. If you can see that. It's got... Ah, right, got that's the one that you were taking. So you, you bend it over, thread it in. Yeah, and you bend it, fold it over. And slide that onto it. And then at the end of that... Nips it up. Yeah. Simple design, but it works. That's a good one, you've got freezing cold hands. <laughs> now you slide that back up the pipe and it locks it in. Yeah. Sweet. The ir irrigation system is pretty damn good. So that's that. All that there is left to do then is the drops into it for each. Trickle in, sorted, trickle out. Yeah, that would be a mess. <laughs> You'd have extra air stones everywhere. Well, I think we'll leave you to do that one. I don't know why I was just pointed it over there. You just walked away from it. <laughs> we'll leave you to do that one then, Daz. And then uh, when you've got extra airlines everywhere, that's on you. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the same size hose for the droppers yeah. that we've used, that you're using for the trickle in? Yeah. So it literally is just going to be a trickle in, isn't yeah. it? Then? Yeah, well, it just what are you going to do? Two to per pool or just two, one? Two per pool, because I'm going to have at least two big nets in each pool to separate the different ah, prices. Ah, for the fry system. Yeah, yeah, so then I'll have each dropper going into the Can't you get three net. in these? I can get three in these, so I can put three droppers in if I need to. Yeah, well you could always add one at another time, can't Depends you? Depends on which forms I get this, yeah. this spring. Well, focus on what you really want to do, the ones that you really want to see. Yeah. Produce less, but more. Yeah. Because less fish, with but nicer, better quality fish rather than yeah. doing rank, uh, just your normal running else. Well, Lewis, you've, you've done every form of combination that you've got. Yeah. It's now trying to narrow down the combinations that work. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. And the fish that you really want to focus on. Yeah. Because most of the spawnings I've been doing this year will be different to the ones I did last year. Yeah. Because we've, we've got a few. New fish you really want to see if you can get that karashi guy to spawn this year. Yeah. What are you I'll putting with it if you do? Um, I'll add, I am tempted to put it in with the Benny Goy. Benny Goy, yes! <laughs> yes! And the Mamataro Chag male. Yeah. Because they're both, the, the karashi and the, the Chag are both Mamataro, so they should produce some decent quality offspring. Yeah. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> right, we'll get these droppers dropped in. And then we'll get back to you in a tick. Right, so Daz has got the first dropper in. <laughs> and as you can see, guys, look, it's absolutely soaking here. Daz forgot that he put the tap on and pressurized the pipe when he drilled the hole in. It's red everywhere. <laughs> Go for it, Vic. Go on, Vicky. That will be a seriously slow trickle in, trickle out. Yeah, go on then, so we can actually see if I won't. No, it'll be alright. This one's come out as a spray. Yeah. That definitely will be a trickle, trickle in. Yeah. You could take the ends off. <laughs> okay. And sit. Oh, hang about. He says, okay, like we're going to get wet here. <laughs> now that's a serious flow, isn't it? Yeah. 
Now I can just have it going in like that and have a regulator on this to turn it down. Yeah, to just down. reduce it, yeah. 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 Oh, give it full blast. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just the tap that's being turned, a little turn. Like <laughs> oh, power! <laughs> that's not bad, that does. If you, because oh, obviously the more drops you're going to get, the more that's probably going to reduce. Yeah. I think I'll put regulators on because then I can. Yeah, if you put a regulator on it, you can just tweak it to out. Yeah. The hotter it gets, the more I can tank it. Yeah, tweak it up. Yeah. I think, the I think the little end thing is a little bit too yeah. fine, out not they? Yeah, I think I'm going to dispense with all this and just have a, a, a wide piece and two drippers yeah. coming off it. Yeah. yeah. But this is all I've got at the moment, so. <laughs> this is to test it and it works. Yeah, it works. It'll be full in an hour. Well, it will, yeah, and maybe it wasn't sufficient to tap on. <laughs> this is a bit where it keeps running for ages. <laughs> there we go. See that that kind of flow is probably just going to be enough. Yeah. Well, the time I've got three of those in each pool. Yeah, and reduce that, the pressure down. Reduce it down to as much. I reckon back there. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. sweet. Yeah. Right, a couple more droppers and away we go. Daz was just saying he's got to make sure that it doesn't drill into the uh, the airline one and, and not the water one. <laughs> so Daz's job. <laughs> right, we'll get back when we've got them all running. There you go guys, Daz is doing it now where he's uh, going to be putting to put that little special tool for it, same as it was for the airline thing and you put in the little adapter on the end and you thread it in um, I haven't decided yet it. Is it the one in the blue tray? Yeah. Yeah. I'll fit that one in a minute, thanks. And then we've got the next dropper in. And then again, there'll be one in that one. And again in that one. And again in there. And he's just doing one to each one for now. Let me uh, zoom back out. One to each one. These are pretty cool, these. So these are the little parts there. And you see one side's got the thread and the other side just has the uh, push over part. You push the piece of hose over the top of it, over this little tool. tool. So that pokes mm. the hole through and then that bit, you wind it. Plink it's like a spanner, screw it in. Yeah, there you go. Sweet then. You might it's have to give it a bit. Yeah, or oh, just warm it with an heat gun and you'll be able to shape it into whatever you want again. Yeah. But, oh, a little bit of a weight round bottom of it to hold it below the surface. Yeah. Plenty long enough, that anyway. Well, that'll get it anyway, won't it? Dropping like that. Rinse and repeat, we'll get back to you when he's got them all done.
Right, we've got one in, one in, one in, one in, one in. A little bit shorter pipe for that one, but I bet you could use, I bet you could use normal ones. Normal what? That's still a few to two, yeah. Because that pushes over the end, doesn't it? Just yeah. to say. Sorry, just stopped us. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna, oh no. Uh, that, hang fire, VK, because Daz is gonna put another one on. That's all right. <laughs> I'll tell you when. Are you joking? <laughs> I know it's clean, I love the place. <laughs> you wait till you, he, he, said, he said it, not me. He went, yeah, no, we can. Just as you were about to do. I don't think he, well, yeah, you didn't think that through, Daz, did you? I know you can go. Um. Oh, next. <laughs> That's got a fair roll. No, that one, see, you can see that one's rating in there to trickle in. That one's going down there. That one's going just there. <laughs> that one is squaring wherever it wants pretty much against the side there need to walk, put a bit of weight on these pipes so that they, they go down but because they've been wrapped up on a reel and now that one's going in there that's not bad that does that's pretty yeah yeah i mean you could tweak down the tap a little bit that's a fair old floor that ain't it to come up yeah. Yeah, knock it down a little, about not just not tap down to about just off just off quarter. We'll say when. Well I mean really the wing now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that yeah, way. More than that. That's about it, yeah. It's going to be one of those fine little adjustments, isn't it? Yeah. Just tweak it back a tiny bit to close off. There. Yeah. That's not easy much water, really. No, it's not. That's cool. So we've got a little flow there now. A nice little flow there now look. A nice little flow on that one. A nice little flow on there. And the last one there. What you want to do is you want to see how long it takes to fill a bucket. Yeah. Like that flow, five litres per however long and then you can work out how much you're going to be doing an hour. Yeah. Have you tested the drain yet? Um, no. Have you tested the drain on the overflow? No, well, it can't be that because it all fills up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to be here, you want to be here when you do it, don't you? Oh, that's a good idea, just put the horse pipe in it and see if it works. Up here for thinking, down there for dancing. A nice little trickle in and out. We're going to now test the 
the outflow by running it through the drains with an hose pipe and seeing if it seeing if it flows away. What we we'll need is a torch on <laughs> and we'll go around the other side and see. Start at this side on that one and that'll flow around the full system, won't it? Yeah. Well you just have to test this one and this one on the big round pool. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to run in and we'll bob out there and see if we can film it coming out the other end, see if it works. Because <laughs> we're gonna need a torch as it's then dark because it's still miserable winter. See if this overflow system trickles out the flow that'll come out of here a bit way more than what would ever come out of here when it's yeah, as it's connected to mains now. But unless they do, you can hold it under mines pressure, that'll hold it trickle out. There we go, there's a trickle out, and that literally is trickling out with mains as well. Yeah, it works. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, it is. And it's that's only a steady trickle, to be fair, Daz. Yeah. Your garden will love it. It'll give you loads of weeding to do around back of here. Like this moss is going to grow like Yeah, stick. it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be perfect, that. Sweet. Oh, well, there you go, guys. That's uh, That's gone pretty well. Trickle in system works really well, trickle out system works really well. We ain't going to leave it on because <laughs> that would be a disaster. Daz has literally gone Daphne fishing in the tanks down the bottom because Vicky wants to start a culture off as well. Oh, here he is with a bag of Daphne or a net full of Daphne to put in some bags. God, looks like you might need an extra set of hands, Doug. <laughs> yeah, I want to get one in there. Dip the net in. Oh, just flip it the other way around and just dab it in there. Bring the water to the net. Yeah. You got that back, Doug? Oh, God, God. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know if I were holding that. Yeah, there's thousands in there. Yeah, you don't need many to get started. Yeah. <laughs> Giant moth. So, Daphne fishing, <laughs> trickle in, trickle out, done. Yeah. Sorted. New culture. For you, Vicky, to get yours up and going. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, this year, we'll be getting to do a little bit of grading through with some of the spawning that Vicky's doing as well. So that should be good. Should be cool. Alright then. Daz and Vicky. Yeah. Use your thing, guys. If you've been enjoying this kind of content, do us a huge favour. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend. Till next time, guys. Keep smiling. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, all. Sorry. <laughs>